So now I'm going to teach you how to change the roller for your garage door. So I got a new piece from Manats. You can see the exercise exactly match. So the problem is, you know, did you see that? Here is my bottom roller on my garage door. Okay. So there are two ways to change the garage door roller. So the number one is for you can take off the hinge and then put the roller inside then fasten back. The problem is this one is on the bottom so it's connect to the cable over there so you can't lose it. Right? Or you can use something to hold the the, the uh, the cable then do it but I want to try a simple easy way so basically you can use a plier to peel this bit a little bit off then pull the whole thing, the whole thing out then change the loader so that might be much easier and this way it applies to all the loaders on the car garage door so you can like on one side I mean both sides right you can use a plier Put this out, outside, then change your one. Then gradually change the next one, like that. You know? Or you know, first thing you need to do is maybe leave the garage door closed, you know, or leave it on the bottom. So now I can use a plier to peel, to open this a little bit. Then pull the door out, right? Then pull the whole thing out. Then change the roller quickly. So now I peel this a bit off, pull the whole thing down, right? Then change the loader quickly. So I open the track now. So push it inside, then pull back, then pull it back. So now I just install it. This is it, right? So pull a little bit off, then everything goes up. Now good. So pull this back. But I will teach you a small tips how to make as great this one. I will put a hammer here. Then knock inside. So now I done. I change the. I change the. So, roller, right? So I want to put the track around nice. So for professional, they have kind of tool. It's like a T, you know. Put it here, and you can use a hammer to hit it. So I don't have a professional tool. I will use a wrench. A wrench. And put inside. Then on the other side, I can use a hammer to knock it to make sure you know, it's a very straight line up. Yep, that's it. So I try to pull it. It's very hard to pull it. So what do we need to do next? So first thing we need to do is release this latch. Otherwise, you know, when you pull the door over there, right? You can pull it because the spring just hold it. So release this flash, then you can pull over there as many you want. So we need to pull this lash. You see that? Wait. Then you can pull the doll manually by yourself. But then you know, make sure when you're done, just put this back. So put this lash back. Here. Okay. I think it's good enough. 